When cats leave us dead mice on the doorstep, we remember that they are natural killers in spite of being so adorable. We're going to discuss the world's deadliest cat breeds to quell your curiosity. Number 7 Servals. Servals are among the most well-known exotic wildcats, and because of their spotted coats, they are commonly mistaken for cheetahs. There is proof that people kept servals as pets as early as ancient Egypt. Fortunately, as long as they have enough space to wander in roomy outdoor enclosures, servals make good pets. They rarely pose a threat to people and prefer to eat small antelope, birds, and rodents. It has never been proven that they have murdered someone. However, the 20 to 40 pound serval, if provoked or cornered, may be extremely dangerous. Number 6 Chowsi. The lovely Chowsi is another exotic cat that appears on the list of the riskiest cat breeds. The Chowsi is a large cat that can astound you with its intelligence and athleticism. It weighs between 15 and 30 pounds. When domestic cats mixed with jungle cats in ancient Egypt, the Chowsi's history began. The Chowsi is currently created by breeding Abyssinians and Oriental cats with wild jungle cats. Number 5 Pixie Bob. You would think that Pixie Bobs are a cross between bobcats and house cats based on their short tails, tufted ears, and strong bodies. Breeders believed that, but DNA studies have yet to uncover any bobcat genes. The Pixie Bob is a big cat that weighs 8 to 17 pounds on average and has a kind disposition. They have a dog-like attitude, are people-oriented, and are not very energetic. Number 4 The Savannah. The Savannah, a hybrid between a domestic cat and a medium-sized serval, may then win your heart. With an average weight of 8 to 20 pounds and a length without a tail of 13 to 20 inches, savanna cats are among the biggest domestic cats. They are lively, nimble, and agile cats that are not suitable as lap cats. Despite being domestic cats, first-generation savannas may exhibit the wild behavior of servals. Aggressive traits are less prevalent in later generations. Number 3 Bengals. Bengals are a hybrid of domestic shorthair cats and Asian leopard cats, and despite their wild origins, they can be quite friendly, faithful, and loyal. The Bengal is a delight to have around the house because it is intelligent and very active. However, due to their proximity to their wild cousins, people frequently mistake first and second generation Bengals for dangerous cats. They are limited in some states of the USA and outlawed in others. Number 2 Black-Footed Cat. These tiny cats may initially appear to be an ordinary domestic tabby, yet they are one of the world's worst predators. It turns out that the black-footed cat has a 60% success rate and kills 10 to 14 rodents or birds per night. With such a high kill rate, black-footed cats can kill more prey in a single night than other large cats can in a whole year. Interestingly, black-footed cats require a lot of food to maintain their energy levels because they also have a higher metabolism than typical cats. Because of this, southern African cats have a voracious hunger and are constantly seeking out snacks. Number 1 Wild Tiger that shouldn't come as a surprise considering that of all big beasts, tigers have killed the most people. Over 400 people were killed by a Bengal tigress on her own in the late 19th and early 20th centuries. Additionally, experts calculate that lions kill about 250 people a year, which is a significant number. Leopard, jaguar, and cougar attacks have decreased recently, but these big animals are still highly unpredictable and dangerous. However, the main causes for these big cats to hunt humans frequently include famine, conflicting habitats, and disease. That's it for today. Please like, share, and subscribe. And press the bell button for getting more such updates.